beam. Part multi-effect, part granular processor, part reverb space designer, and full-on sound design creation tool, Beam is not just another effect. Beam opens up your audio to new universes of possibility. You might be wondering, how does it do all that? With Beam's unique routing system, it becomes possible to manipulate audio like never before, all inside of one plugin. Beam comes loaded with tons of inspiring presets to get you started, and the simplistic yet powerful interface begs you to design your own presets from scratch. The most inspiring part of Beam is that Lunacy has created an entire new platform for this effect. It ships with three powerful effect modules at launch, and they're building an expanding ecosystem around Beam with more effect modules coming in the future. It's like having a pedal board of effects at your fingertips with the insane ability to split signals, duplicate effect modules, and mangle your audio as much as your heart desires. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at Beam and find out why it's so good and why you need to add it to your plugin library today. So before we start, make sure you smash that like button on the way in, get subscribed, and let's explore the sonic horizon with Beam. What's up guys, Chris here from Signs of Life. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at Beam, the crazy new multi-effect plugin from Lunacy. Uh, I've got a demo track queued up here. It's got Beam all over it. And so what I thought we'd do in this first part is just take a listen to this demo track. And then on the other side, I can show you guys all around Beam. Uh, you guys can learn what it can do. And then ultimately you guys can find out why you guys need to add it to your own productions. All right, so here we go. So as you could hear, I mean, that is just wild. There were so many parts of that track that you could tell were really being taken to the next level with Beam. So the first track that I wanna highlight is here, right at the top. Listen to this, like all those washes of just beautiful sound are coming from this preset called Caving Deeper. And I mean, without it, listen to this, I'm gonna lower the mix down. It sounds like an interesting pad, but when you put Beam on it, Oh my gosh, that's just next level, right? There's three different modules in Beam. You have the granular processor with a delay, you have a filter, and then you also have this reverb or the convolution reverb. And you can see there's a lot of modulation going on here. Like it really just takes it up a notch, right? The second track I wanted to highlight was a sequence. And the sequence, I wanted to find out what would happen if I put 
beam onto a sequence. Listen to this. This is a preset from Alchemy called Space Channel Fists in the preset library of beam. And all those extra notes are coming from the granulizer here. That's just crazy. Like, listen to it. I'm gonna lower the mix down. That's just the raw sequence. And then, oh yeah. I mean, that is like next level. You know what I'm saying? So I was really surprised when exploring Beam, how much it actually added uh, to my compositions, how much it added to my sound. It was like, wow, that's the, the missing link there, right? So here's a final one here before we move on. This is Afterglow and you can hear, like that's just crazy, right? Celestial Dancer. You can do all these crazy routings in Beam. You can split signals. You can move signals across the entire Beam, just like this. Add more nodes here if you want. I mean, it's wild. So. We're gonna talk all about that on the other side, but I just wanted you guys to get a sense of how powerful Beam is and really what this is all about. So on the other side of this, we're gonna take a really close look at Beam and you guys can find out all about all the controls and uh, how you can add it to your own productions, all right? So now that you have a good idea of what Beam can do, uh, let's take a closer look at the plugin. I've got a preset here, which is from my upcoming sound bank. Um, the preset is called Collective Visions. And I've got a blank instance of Beam, which has the default preset on it. So when you first load up Beam, it looks a little something like this. And this is the default preset. And here's what it sounds like. So you can hear it's just a granular sampling node with the space node, right? The convolution reverb. So if I hover over these, you can see I can just click the little trash can icon. And now we have a blank instance of Beam just running straight signal right through it. Now to add a node, you come down here to the add nodes button. Now, like I said earlier on in the video, Beam ships with three different really powerful multi-effects. So we have the space, which is like a convolution reverb. We have grains, which is a granular sampler and a filter, right? Just these three alone are super powerful. Now, Lunacy has committed to this entire ecosystem. So they're gonna add a bunch more uh, different effects modules later on. Um, and this is just the start, but what you can do with the start is really amazing. So let's go ahead and grab the grains and just drop it right here in the middle. And you can see that as soon as I click on this, I get total control over what the grains are doing. So I can you know, change the rate here, make them faster or slower. We can sync them up with this little clock icon we can link them together with the size. And then we have a little randomization controls right over here on the top, you can see. A little new to full moon controls, I love that, right? Shape control, which you see in most granular samplers. Really nice to see. And then we have a really interesting pitch control. You can see that it says pitch right here. I also have ARP controls, which is something, two controls that you don't really find in granular samplers. So if I pitch this up, say a fifth, right? I'm gonna put it at plus seven. That means that all of the grains are now pitch locked to a fifth above uh, the octave. So, and then I also have an ARP control, right? So I can change the ARP to like minor and then lower the mix down. This is what this sounds like. Now that the grains are pitched, they're being arpeggiated and they're being sent through this granular sampler. Check it out. That's really interesting, right? And then you have full on delay controls here. So I can up the feedback here and turn on the delay right, and change this to maybe dotted eighth notes, right? We have a filter right here on the bottom, low and high pass. Make it a little darker. Love that. Spray controls, reverse controls. Oh yeah. Now that's just one node, right? So. It can get super deep, but just like one note alone is like, oh my gosh, really amazing stuff. So 
Now we can add another node here. I can grab, say, the space, which is like a convolution reverb, and drop it on here and check out the controls. Now, it starts out with this elvish plate, but if you click on the little magnifying glass, you get a full-on menu of all these different convolutions. They work with some really well-known cave divers to go design some of these spaces, right? So we have small spaces, large spaces, chaotic. And if you click on them, they each have their own different, like, you know, graphical icon. You can see this is like a really interesting alien-looking triangle cube, right? We have the short timbers, which are like the actual cube. We have echoes here, which are like a double pyramid. So let's go with Clockwork Tower. I have no idea what this sounds like, but we'll go ahead and play it. And yeah. Some nice reverb here. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. We also have something called Mix Motion. You might've noticed this. So Mix Motion is like a full on motion sequencer or an LFO built right into the mix knob. So I can click on the middle here and it gives you all these different shapes. You can even design your own shapes. It's super crazy. So I can pick one, like say, I don't know, like let's go landscape, right? And then we up the depth here. And now you can see that our mix knob is now moving with the rate and the depth of uh, the Mix Motion sequencer. A couple more features that I'd like to mention is we have two LFOs on board, we have a full on macro knob, and we have a randomization control. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, you can see here we have two LFOs, well, LFO 1 and LFO 2. Now you have the same shape sequencing control that we had in the mix motion control. And so you can select from a bunch of different patterns. You can design your own patterns, which is really great to see. To use these, all you have to do is click on any of the nodes and then drag over the crosshairs over to any of the knobs. And you can see that now we're starting to move the rate of the grains here. Nice little touch, we can adjust the rate and the depth. We have phase control, randomization, smoothing. Oh yeah. So some really powerful LFOs. These can, these can be assigned to as many destinations as you'd like. Um, we also have uh, another macro knob, just like we had in the cube. We have one macro knob to rule them all. Now some of the presets in the default preset bank, let's say antiquated space debris, have really interesting macro assignments. You can see that this one macro is controlling alpha 2's depth, grain B's mix, grain A's mix, and grain C's feedback. So when I play this and start turning the macro, things get weird really fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's super cool, right? So a lot of these presets have really great macro assignments. I highly recommend you skim through them all and just find your favorites. Now, if you get done with all the presets, you also have a really intelligent preset generator button right here at the top. So I can click generate preset and this is going, going to fully use any available node, right? No matter what time and it says, oh, there you go. There's your new preset, right? So you can see Oh my gosh, I mean, that's completely generated from scratch, right? Hit it again. There's another one. Oh my goodness. Play it along with the track. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Wow. So you can see how powerful this is. I mean, the beam is the real deal. And I've been waiting for a plugin like this for a really long time. Ever since I got my microcosm, it was like, when is something like that gonna happen in software? And being that this is an ever evolving ecosystem that Lunacy has created, I mean, I'm so excited for the future of this plugin. It's just phenomenal, right? But it's here now <laughs> and it's, on intro sale for only $59 until April 24th, 2024. So go check this plugin out, you guys. The link is down below in the description. I'm super stoked on it. I'd like to thank Lunacy Audio for sponsoring this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on Beam. Are you guys using it? Are you loving it? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be back again soon with more plugin deep dives and heavy tutorials. In the meantime, take good care, you guys. And as always, 
Keep your heads in the clouds and your feet planted firmly on the ground. My name is Chris from Signs of Life. I'll see you all in the next one.